All right, so we're going to be taking a look at this new robot called Hawk today. And I know many of you were asking me about uh, this Hawk. You know, what did I think of it? Uh, what were my opinions on this robot? And I'm going to do that right towards the end, I think, when I, you know, kind of do a summary of everything. And uh, what I'll do is I'll put chapter markers on the timeline so you guys can click on it and I'll take you directly to that point in the video. Having said that, if uh, this is the first time you happen to drop by my channel, or you are new to the channel, definitely consider subscribing if you haven't already. It helps me out so I can bring you guys uh, more up to date and uh, you know some of the newer content as well as uh, you know better giveaways uh, for you guys. So I definitely want to do that. And uh, speaking of which, there is going to be a Hawk giveaway coming up on my channel in the near future. Uh, definitely make sure that you turn on you know all channel notifications so that you guys don't miss that because I will be giving away quite a few of these. I'm just uh, waiting to get that, you know, kind of all approved by Pixonic. Okay, so um, I guess let's uh, hop right into this description here. So uh, when I was reading this description, there was one line that kind of caught my eye. And I was trying to wrap my head around this. Um, it says here, the Hawk is capable of transforming into a massive weapon that uh, draws on all its equipment's power. Now, when I read that, I was like, okay, how is it going to calculate that damage, you know, of... Uh, your weapons, is it basing it on how much damage your weapons do before it starts reloading? Or uh, is there some sort of a tier system here? Now, apparently there is a tier system. I did not know about it. Uh, you don't see it listed anywhere here. Um, in fact, I don't even think it's listed on the official uh, site, which is even weirder because you would think at least it would put it there. But apparently there is a tier system that is listed on the wiki site. So I'm going to put a link to that site um, you know, in the video description, but there are four tiers, and uh, tier four is the highest uh, tier. The Rhyme and the Glacier fall into that tier, and then obviously you have tier one, which would be like Punishes and Thunders, but depending on which tier you are in, that's going to impact how much damage your Hawk does with that built-in weapon. Okay, so um, I'm going to do actually a demonstration of that as well. Uh, I'm just going to go through this, uh, you know, description and the stats here first, but the ability is called Transform, as you can see here, takes off and transforms, you know, into a weapon that partially ignores enemy defense. So this part here where it says ignores enemy defense, if you target um, like a Leech, a Fenrir, a Falcon, I guess a Phantom as well, because that has some resistance when it uses, um, you know, its ability, uh, you will be doing more damage to them because it ignores some of that resistance. So that's uh, what that means. Um, the reflector here. So how does the reflector works or uh, work rather? So when you go into flight, uh, basically anyone who uh, targets the hawk, if you fire at it, you are going to take damage. So the thing that you want to do is if you see a hawk that's in the air, don't shoot it because if you do, it's going to reflect that damage back to you. So if you have like, um, I believe, six players shooting a hawk, all six are going to take damage. I believe that's how it, uh, you know, how it works. I'm going to see if I can try to get a demonstration or at least some gameplay of that. But um, I believe that's how it does work. Uh, here are the stats here. So you can see cooldown, 22 seconds. Built-in weapon range is 500 meters. Uh, the block damage is 85%. Now you've got to think, uh, you know, with uh, the leech, it's, uh, it has 90% resistance. Uh, this is block damage though, so I think it's slightly different, but you get the idea. Return damage, 40%. Here are the stats. Uh, also, they have recommended equipment, two Glacier, two Rhyme, uh, two Ember, and two Blaze. Uh, just so that you guys know, these are all tier 4 weapons, okay? And uh, what I have got here is the Rhyme Glacier build. So I have uh, two Hawks. I'm going to run you know, basically show you uh, action clips of uh, tier 4 setups because this whole video is kind of focused around the strongest builds uh, for the uh, Hawk, okay, and uh, you know, here are the modules for this one here, here are the pilot skills, and uh, let's take a look at the um, the Ember and the Blaze, and I believe the uh, Nucleon and Quarka is another one, so I'm going to try to get some footage of that. Uh, and then after this, actually, uh, when I show you, you know, what I'm showing right now, we have other bots here, but I'm not going to focus on that. So what I'm going to do is actually show you a demonstration now of the difference between, uh, you know, a tier one and a tier four weapon setup in terms of how much damage the uh, Hawk, um, you know, does. So I basically teamed up with uh, Lee Fighter Gamer. I don't know if you guys know his uh, channel, but definitely check it out. 
um, you know, big thank you to him as well. So what happened was he ran his battle recording account as well. He has a maxed out Ao Ming. I asked him to put, uh, you know, two plated armor kits uh, on his Ao Ming and to not go into fight. So he has some resistance and I used a Hawk. So I used this setup over here uh, with no modules and no pilot. I was able to take him out in three flights uh, using this setup. And then what I did was I used um, a tier one setup with uh, Thunder and I think Punishes. It took four flights to take him out. So you guys can see that. I'm going to actually jump into, uh, you know, that kind of um, comparison demonstration, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to, you know, kind of show you guys now. And then after that, I'll show you uh, action clips of the different uh, tier four builds uh, for the, uh, you know, for the Hawk. And then for those of you who are interested in a full game, I'm going to put that towards the end. And there should be a couple of, uh, you know, chapter markers on the timeline. So you guys can click on it and you can go to any point in the video by doing that. So I guess uh, let's uh, jump into that demonstration now. And uh, you guys can, you know, see the difference between a tier one setup versus a tier four setup. Titan Slayer. Titan Slayer. Um, he could easily land and deliver his payload here, which is, I think, what he's going to plan on doing. So we're going to take him out. There we go. My overdrives have been triggered. Uh, are these guys getting another beacon here? There's a Loki or something back there. I use lock. Uh oh. Come on, roast him up! Are you serious? I gotta fire ahead of him. There we go. Oh, that was close. <laughs> that was really close. Let's focus on this guy. Couldn't target him. Man, you know what? Nightingales are pretty effective against the Hawk. If you don't have a Nightingale, might be uh, something worth uh, considering because these things can really... Uh, they suppress the, um, the uh, Hawk. I'm gonna lock this guy in place here so he can't escape. There we go. Let's see if we can help out my uh, teammate here. There we go. So <laughs> we got uh, we got the farm, the center, and the dam side, but they got our home beacon. But the thing is. We're actually on the side that has three beacons, so they, they eventually need to come across 
uh, you know, this dry riverbed here. I'm just going to try and annoy this uh, player. If I can lock him down, it will force him to use his ability. So I'm trying to get him to use his ability as much as possible. That's going to make him very vulnerable. There we go. My last hand is not triggered yet. But these guys are going to get that beacon. Okay, so we need to... Uh, we need to try something here because... Uh, <laughs> okay, let's go for this guy. Actually, wait. Let's target this one here. That one there. Man, this uh, built-in weapon is insanely strong. It's crazy. I hear Norikums. What? <laughs> hey guys, don't don't signal for help. The game's not over yet. Let's do that. Try to lock this guy uh, down. Kind of forcing him to use his ability here. Jeez, now phase shift? Let me guess. Ability after this? Holy crap, dude. <laughs> This guy's signaling for help. He's going straight for him too. We have a bit of lag here. There we go. Okay, so they are starting to bring out the big guns. You can see over here. I'm going to actually target this guy if I can. I need to get within that 500. There we go. We're going to lock him down. And uh, hopefully take him out here too. Trying to move this way. Oh, someone suppressed me. Are you serious, dude? Oh, he's almost dead. Wait, 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 wait. No. <laughs> I'm going to lock him. There we go. There we go. Let's uh, focus this guy down here. Take him out. He might drop in over here, actually. Nope, he's behind us. Let's just do this. They almost triggered my uh, my overdrive. Let's go ahead. Let's take this guy out. That's a pretty strong uh, Ao Ming there. And uh, that guy. Oh, shoot. He's definitely triggered my uh, overdrives now. Okay, I'm just waiting... Uh, there's another guy over here. Can I get him? Try to fire in front of him there. We're going to try to take out uh, this Ao Ming. Where is this guy? Hold up, dude. Okay, let's go for this guy. He's triggered my overdrives. There we go. Oh, jeez. Only just barely got that guy. Let's uh, move this side. We need to get another beacon quickly here. We only have uh, three, four minutes left. I'm trying to run past this uh, player. Just move this way. I got to get another beacon here. Uh-oh. That is not what I wanted to see. Hold well on. Let's try to take him out with this. Trying to see if I can perhaps... Uh, there's this guy in center here trying to take him out. Um, let's focus on this low key. There we go. Okay, we have a couple of players in scent at the bottom. There's three of them there. We've got to watch out. 
Um, we have a guy moving up top here too. Okay, um, let's see. I'm going to go for this one here. Let's go for him. Let's target this uh, Al Jung. And this guy. Oh, jeez. Wasn't able to take him out. I got to get out of here. Where is he? How do you want to take uh, care of this guy here? Get this beacon back. Where is this other player? There's another player on the other side there. He was in a uh, leech. It's just going to flight here. Maybe I can clear out uh, the uh, center this way. Whoa, 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 what the heck? What? Whoa, what the? Malfunction. Man, I can't move. <laughs> Not sure what happened there. Maybe maybe when you fly into the tunnel like that, it messes up the, uh, the flight. That was weird. That was uh, some serious malfunction. <laughs> Um, I can probably go for this. Uh, I'm going for the Aljung first because he's probably my biggest threat here. And this guy's going to have his uh, shield soon. Got to take him out. Oh, that was close. And I can't move. What is this guy in? Oh, jeez, that was close. Let's just uh, try to help out my buddy here before this guy uh, takes him out. Uh-oh. Uh, we're going to have a bit of a problem here on the right side. This guy's going to take that uh, center beacon there. We need to stop him quick. Let's just move this way. This guy in center is going to be landing here soon. I'm just waiting for that. Let's try to maybe take out some of those players back there. Let's go in a flight. Let's take this guy out. Should be able to. There we go. Thing is, we have been four-capped here. Take that player out. So this build that I'm running works really well on a larger map. On a smaller map, I find it uh, really lacks. You know, you might have that, that range, but man, if you have to engage close range, I think that's the uh, the biggest disadvantage of this build. I'm trying to pick off some of these players here. We need to make a, we need to make a push here for this uh, right side. I'm just trying to save my shots. We got a rampage. And that's the other thing too, I'm playing domination mode because <laughs> I found when I played Beacon Rush, so the thing with Beacon Rush is players can spawn nearby. The Hawk is actually a very uh, fragile bot. You know, once it lands, it goes down really quick. So that's when you want to attack it. But in the air, it is very strong. I would say this setup I'm running right now is one of the uh, stronger builds for it in terms of range. Let's just focus on this Falcon here. Or uh, this guy here. Actually, probably better to focus on the Falcon. There we go. Um, we gotta stop this guy. Trying to get him to use his ability over and over again. There we go. I can focus on this guy here. I can take him out. He's almost out. There we go.
Oh jeez, he has another Ravana. Is that the same guy? It might be. Gotta watch out for this uh, blitz here. Uh, maybe I can lock uh, this guy down. Oh shoot. This guy probably has a shield, right? Oh, I'm lucky. He didn't have a shield. Last and triggered on him. Maybe I can get this uh, Ravana here. There we go, godlike. Um, there's a player up top. Can I lock him? Just going to flight. Let's target that guy and this one here. Okay, so we've just dropped into a uh, factory map here. And I've uh, started with the hawk first. Where's this guy in? Try to lock uh, this player down, but that was a Ravan, unfortunately. He got locked again. Oh, jeez, he's going to lose that bot for sure. There we go. Let's go for this Griffin. There's a Ravana here too. How is that guy surviving? He must be lagging or something. Focus on this guy. Looks like we're actually losing another beacon. Our home beacon or something. If I can lock this Ravana down. I'm trying to lock him. Yeah, we're losing all our beacons here. What's going on? I think we only have four players. Try to take out that guy. This one here. And almost. I'm using my... Um, trying to use my flight ability only when I absolutely need it. Let's move this way. Man, these weapons are brutal. Look at that guy. I'm going to go into flight. That's a leech. Yep, there we go. Um, maybe I can get... No, that guy's gone behind cover there. There we go, godlike. I'm going to lock this player down and got him. I'm going to go into flight. I think that's an invader, right? Oh, <laughs> Nightingale. I'll tell you this. The Nightingale is actually pretty effective against the Hawk. It's one of the, uh, one of the bots I don't like running into. You can see why. I just got... Um, Lock this guy down. I got suppressed. Actually, wait. This guy here. When these guys bring out their titans, I'm going to bring out the other hawk. Except we have we have a lot of uh, beacons here. Let's take this guy out. And this one here. Absolutely brutal. Oh, shoot. I thought I'd be able to kill that guy at least. That was strange. Um, let me drop in at B. We're going to use the um, the Hawk again. Because we should be hearing Titan soon. I don't want to get that right beacon. If I get that right beacon, the game's going to be over. Waiting for this Aojung to land. Let's target him. You know, this bot is a lot like the Aojung. Actually, in many ways. Because I remember when the Aojung came out, it was just wiping out everyone, like on the field. Players started uh, realizing this, and then they started building multiples. This guy uh, in front of me is in the Scorpion. He's getting ready to attack, I think, this guy here. Let me just hit this player. There 
There we go. I'm gonna let this player hit me because I want him to trigger my um, my overdrives. There we go. I'm looking to see how long it takes for me to uh, break through that shield. Nope. I think the other team was down a couple of players. It seems that way. Okay, here's a, here's a Titan here. Let's go for this guy. That's crazy. Okay, so I don't think I'm going to be able to get another flight in here because we have four capped and this guy's getting totally shredded up. Although we have four players, I'm not sure what happened. No, we have five players. Ao Jung, yeah, this game's over. So I'm going to give you my final thoughts, uh, you know, once this game is done here, when it comes to the Hawk. And I'll tell you, you know, which uh, of the builds I actually found the deadliest and also counters to it okay so this is how we did here in this game and it actually looks like both sides were down a player yeah they kind of seem shorthanded but it didn't seem like from our end anyways <laughs> here are the uh, honor points okay for that game so my final thoughts when it comes to the hawk and again this is just my opinion here um, I'm basing it on, you know, obviously the footage I've gathered. I have it on my own account. And, you know, one thing I don't like, and I'm going to stress this as well, I don't like how it cuts through uh, basically like a leech or a falcon or a fenrir. You know, these bots have resistance and they kind of need it for their survival. Now, unless there's like a pilot or something that they introduce to, uh, you know, negate that. And even then, I don't think um, I would have done it that way. I think what I would have done was if it's going to do damage to those bots, Maybe it's like 5 or 10% more damage, not to the extent that uh, we're seeing in the game right now. Uh, even against Titans, I find the Hawk does actually too much damage to Titans. So I think it needs to be kind of scaled back a bit. Um, again, this is just my opinion. Um, it actually reminds me also a lot of the Ao Jung when that came out. Uh, you know, a lot of players started running it. It was just doing so much damage with that flight speed, um, the stealth as well. And obviously, if you can put like Redeemers or something on there, uh, a lot of players were, you know, racking up insane damage, you know, with the Ao Jung. Now, this bot is kind of similar to that. Um, one thing that I did find, you know, out of the games I played, and even, you know, on my own account, the robots and Titan that I struggled with the most. So the Titan I struggled with the most was the Arthur, because the Arthur has a physical shield and it can block the built-in weapon. Uh, when it comes to regular robots, um, I had kind of trouble, you know, dealing with Ravanas, and you may have actually seen it, uh, in the uh, footage as well but Ravana's and especially Nightingales so if you have a Nightingale out there it could be a really good counter to the Hawk because that constant suppression you know basically nerfing it down while it's in the air and then when it lands you attack it I think is a very good um, strategy when it comes to uh, dealing with the Hawk now out of the builds that I've tested so far the ones that I like the most is the Glacial Rhyme and the Nucleon Quarker so I think if you're running, you know, those builds, actually the Dragoon Marquise was pretty strong too, but any of those builds with uh, obviously tier 4 weapons will do a lot of damage to the enemy. And I think that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet subscribed, consider subscribing. Until the next video, I'll catch you guys later. Directly we collide You pull me in I don't resist The time seems to fly But the clock doesn't tick